Well, Jason, you're not even 20. Can you believe you're here? Uh, this opportunity? Yeah, not really. Um, I knew coming uh, after the ITM that, you know, maybe I wouldn't get as much game time as I would get. And I actually got more than I thought. And to think Jamie was interested in me is uh, pretty scary, really. And now I'm here, surrounded by um, quality players and um, All Blacks joining us soon. So it's pretty exciting times for me. Well, right, let's start your life story, short as it is, so from the very beginning, where were you born? I was born in Tauranga, um, I've lived there for about five years, and then I moved to Wellington, uh, Dad worked at Anchor, uh, he worked there for about 12 years, and then ended up in Palmerston North, where Dad uh, found another job and he's working at Fonterra now, so he yeah, ended up there somehow. <laughs> What about sport in the family blood? Who uh, has that come from mum or dad? Or? Uh, dad will probably say it came from him. But um, no, cause Dad used to play rugby uh, when he was young as well. He played centre. Oh, he told me all these stories, but I don't know whether to believe him or not. But um, yeah, probably um, mum's side of the family, they were quite good at netball as well. So um, yeah, probably dad. <laughs> what about uh, brothers and sisters? Uh, I've got four brothers. Uh, Where are you in the I'm in the second oldest. I got an older brother and three younger. Um, they're pretty mischief, the younger ones. But my older brother's uh, got a daughter, um, so I'm pretty, pretty lucky to have a little niece. And um, are they yeah. sporting? Are they play football? Oh, my older brother just works, and um, but my three younger brothers play play rugby. Um, actually, three old brother can uh, can kick a ball pretty good, so he's looking pretty good. Um, and my brother's actually in a college this year, to Palmy Boys, so. He plays halfback, so hopefully he can give it a good go. All right, schooling, uh, where did you start out? I started in uh, Johnsonville, uh, in Wellington, and then I went to Onzo College for about oh, three weeks until dead, until we moved to Tauranga. I went to Tauranga Boys for six months and then ended up in Palmy Boys end of third form. So I went to three different colleges <laughs> in one year, which is pretty unique, I reckon. Yeah. Well, and did you play rugby at the mall? Um, I didn't play rugby at Onzo College where I played for the under-14s at Tauranga Boys and ended up playing Palmy obviously 14s, 15s and first 15. Right. Yeah. So how old were you when you made that first 15? I was fifth form, so hmm. 16, 15, yeah. <laughs> so that was, yeah, that was probably another surprise for me and coming into it. Probably I didn't live there from the start so I sort of had to prove myself to all the, the coaches and the coach was pretty good, Reese Archibald. He was um, he was good and real honest and kind of like Jake but but more nicer. <laughs> <laughs> what about position wise? Um, have you floated around or been specialist? Uh, well, I started off at hooker actually. Uh, I was a bit chubby. Um, slowly moved my way up um, and played a bit of sevens as well. So yeah, under nines I started playing hooker and then from then on I just started moving myself out into the midfield. And second five centre was my main my main position and fullback as well actually. Yeah, I enjoyed fullback a lot. And what's your first choice if if you get the offer? I was definitely centre, yeah. I haven't played fullback for a while and uh first five I had a quick stint at first five a month or two. But uh Jason had him probably moving me up because I ran ran the ball a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about first fifteen rugby because uh, strong rugby school. Yeah, very strong. Um, I knew coming into it that I was gonna be something that I haven't witnessed before. Um, I remember going to Onzo College and they were probably in the fourth or third premiership. So coming to Pumps North Boys High New was gonna be a lot more challenging and just the people you play against like Hamilton Boys, Gisborne Boys, it was always tough. And there was no easy games and I enjoyed it. It was probably enjoyed it a bit too much, I didn't really do more schoolwork than I should have. It was all about rugby at school for me so how much, yeah. uh, how many years in First 15? I had three years in First 15, yeah. And they did quite well in the national scene, didn't they? Yeah, we, our seventh form year was probably the, would have been probably the best that we've done for a while. Um, we ended up losing, we always lose to Napier in the semi final for Hurricanes, so it's a bit guttering. But I remember that the year before I made the first, they lost to Wellington in the final for the Hurricanes, so that's pretty disappointing, yeah. And any of your teammates playing Super Rugby? Uh, a few be playing ITM, would they? Uh, yeah, a few playing an ITM. Um, Nani, I play with him in the midfields with the Warriors at the moment. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting you to see how he goes there. And that's probably about it. Yeah. 
So um, I suppose the age group rugby, New Zealand age group rugby, was your next step, wasn't it? Yeah. What's um, What's the first phone call you got for that? Um, I was actually just after Christmas. Got I was in Palmerston North and my academy manager rang me up and said if I was interested to trial for under twenties. And I sort of made a goal at the year that I wanted to trial for the year after, not actually this year. Yeah. And when I got the phone calls. I was pretty happy, told mum and dad, and they were pretty happy. And so we were talking about last year, right? Yeah, last year, yeah. And um, I just started training away, and it's quite nervous going into the camp because I, I used to work at Breakers, and um, we got to empty the fries out every night, and I spilt hot oil on my toes, and I was out for about one month, and probably two to three days before the camp, I'd just come right. Yeah. yeah but the so funny, no running for a month? Yeah, I know. I could run, but not with rugby boots on. I had to wear runners. And gym work, I was, had to wear jandals because it was too hard. But um, in the trial, the first thing I did was kick the ball off my right, my right foot, which my toes were. <laughs> so it was pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Uh, take it you're not working at Breakers anymore. Yeah. No, <laughs> you no. don't need that work. <laughs> the only reason I worked there is because um, my girlfriend was sick of paying for stuff. So because she worked there as well on the front, oh. and a waitress. So yeah, it's the last time I actually thought about working. I just wanted to play rugby <laughs> to be my <laughs> be my Fair job. <laughs> Um, I could tell, well, tell us about the uh, under 20 experience, the whole campaign. Uh, was it a uh, great uh, growing thing for you? Yeah, it just got better and better. The trials was, on my, f my first trial was, had a bit of a shocker, but came back in the second one, I, I did a lot better. And the naming was just, um, it was just unreal how they named it. It's just all the boys in one room. And, um, they did just, you think you were close? I didn't, I thought I was in there. You know, my age, I was young, there was other boys there as well, and I just thought I wouldn't. Had my head down the whole time, and they went through props, hookers, and then the centres were. Oh, right. They actually went um, first five wingers and then centres. So I was like, oh, I must have missed out because I had first five, second oh, five, okay. and then wing. Right. And I was like, oh. And then they heard my name, and I just. It would be a bit of alphabetical. Yeah, yeah, it would be yeah. E, yeah. <laughs> a lot better if it was alphabetical. But um, no, it was just amazing. And then just to, to train, and we, we got our kit that night as well, and I was just. Heaps of ass kit. Yeah, and it was. So it was off to the World Cup? Yeah, off to the World Cup in South Africa. Was, that was just a whole different experience there. Just seeing the, you know, we can't have life easy here and mm. people over in South Africa, you know, struggling. And yeah, it was pretty eye opening. And the rugby was just it was intense. And even just playing, you know, pool play to the final was just mm. all in, intense. And How did you find it compared with, say, ITM Cup in terms uh, of the testing? Um, I reckon the final was would have been probably up there with ITM. Because it was just fast, physical, and so I can the f the final and the semi final probably would have been right up there with the intensity of IT American. Yeah. Bit disappointing not to win. Yeah, it was very disappointing. I was all the boys are gutted. You know, we the first team to lose that was. Guess, somebody had yeah, to. Yeah, someone. Yeah, <laughs> someone had to, but we didn't want to. That's probably kind of my motivation this year is just wanting to get back. You know, on a win. You still qualify for under twenty? Yep. Yeah, 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 just. Depends what they want to do with the, the Highlanders if I'm mm. getting game time or not. But I'd love to go back and win one, yeah. Mm. So when you got back, you yeah, straight in the ITM Cup squad, were you? Yeah, I thought I was going to have a rest, and Jason the Hellens, oh, we got training on. <laughs> so that was kind of a surprise to me, too. Uh, as soon as I got back, though, uh, I think I signed a few days when I got back and mm. kind of didn't stop really. I just mm. kept coming and coming, and I just couldn't, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't believe what was happening, and just to be around the. ITM Cup just to play as you, you play against is pretty unreal. I think my first game I played against Rene Ranger when I started and I was, <laughs> I was looking at him and I was like, oh, what yeah. am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough start, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. very really tough. Still, yeah. you know you can match it with these guys. Yeah. You're going to get there. Yeah, I know. Because Jason Hallman told me um, a few days before when we were in Northland that I was big playing. And we got the team sheets, and I see Rene Ranger's name there. I was like, oh. <laughs> but um, that was good just to be playing with him. Was Playing against him was good. You know, I've always watched him when I'm. Did you have much one on work against him? Did you have yeah, he got me a few times. Because yeah. I, I think I got him quite early on in the game, and then he got me a few times. And yeah, I just had to tell myself I'm here, so just yeah. tackle him. That's right. <laughs> Try to tackle him. Yeah. Right. Can't run anywhere. Yeah. And it was good to be a, like a, a regular starting member of the team, knowing that you're yeah. in the squad. Yeah, it was sort of surprising because um, I think uh, Tikaru Tuma was, I know he was coming back because so he probably would have pushed him to centre and I think we had a few injuries as well. Um, Nathan George probably didn't have a, a happy, happiest game as he wanted to first, so Junior or me was 
going to play first five. So. Right. Yeah, I was a bit worried about that when Jason <laughs> told me. But um, Have you junior, played first five much? I played a few times at school, but not no. not at that level. I played actually a few club games because Jason wanted to see how I went. Yeah. But I remember coming on against Wellington, and all I did was just run. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I knew what to do. So, yeah. yeah. So, what are the strengths in your game? What do you think attracts um, likes of Jamie Jason? What is it? What is it he likes about you? Yeah, definitely not my height. I'm probably the shortest midfielder there. But um, I'm not sure. Just. I like to think I have good footwork, um, you know, seeing how small I am, I can't run direct, so I've got to use my footwork to get through people and um, maybe passing will be, you know, I'd like to, like to see myself as a good an option as a kicker as well, um, that probably helps with first five as well, getting a bit of kicking in, but at centre you can afford to have grubber kicks or chip kicks or anything like that, so, yeah, kicker, passer and uh, footwork is probably my main. That's what I want to think anyway. You probably thought you weren't going to get a lot of game time because Tamari was here yeah. and, uh, and Martin Nono and those yeah. guys. So suddenly one of them's injured yeah. and they're not replacing the midfielder. So yeah. there's an opportunity for you. Yeah, there's heaps of midfielders actually when I was looking on the team list. And yeah, I just want to be ready for the opportunity really. I don't want to get it and I'm not ready and then I don't you know, play as good as I can. So I've just got to learn all the plays and probably confidence will be the big thing. Playing against... All Blacks, so, you know, uh, Springboks and Wallabies, yeah. so, you know, I want to be ready and I'm sure I'll be ready if, I, if um, Jamie gives me a chance and, you know, I just can't wait to play off those kind of guys. Eh? Did he call you? Is that how you found out about it? Uh, he actually called my manager. I think I was playing against Northland and I think Jamie called my manager before we played, yeah. but um, he didn't tell me till oh, a few a few days after, I think, yeah. so, yeah, when really he told me I was kind of surprised and... Yeah. Was, Were you talking to any other Hurricanes? Um, yeah, I talked to Alama, um, and oh, Dave Renan obviously comes back for, and you know, had a bit of a talk to him, yeah. But um, so, yeah. what was the sort of uh, decision-making factor to come here rather than mm. anywhere else? Do you think? For probably, you? like those two were probably wider, and I was probably guaranteed a full squad here, so that's probably what brought me, brought me here. And I probably Scott McLeod. I worked from under twenties. And um, I really enjoyed what, you know, I felt I played better when I was working with Stormy, especially yeah. on my defence, so that's, that's a big thing for me that I want to work on, so I thought this would be the right Absolutely. right place for me to come, yeah. Have you been to Dunedin before? <laughs> I played um, New Zealand schools here, oh. my sixth form, yeah, but um, didn't realise how hot it gets here, eh? <laughs> well, it's yeah. a good effort, yeah. well, it's you can get out, eh? Yeah. So, yeah. What about the setup? Uh, the guys uh, oh, fitting in? Yeah, the setup's good. It's, everything's close. Jim's here. Jim's good, and all the boys are really good as well. They um, a few characters in there as always, and um, they're always challenging to be best. They're not going to take it light on you just because mm -hmm. you're young. They, mm -hmm. I'm expecting to get rough enough of it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. it should be. Yeah. And what about uh, flatting? Who, you, who, you've, who, who you're with? Who um, you're with? My girlfriend came down from Palms North, oh. so we're just in a place at Manor Place. Um, mm -hmm. A few of the other boys are there as well. Yeah. So it's pretty. We've made it homey now, so it's close to everything, close to town, close to training. She's happy to be down here. Yeah, she's happy to be down here. It was a bit hard when we left the airport for our family there, obviously, and mm. we just see it as another challenge, I guess. Do you think your family will come down for a few games? Because it's a great place to watch here. Yeah, yeah, nice and dry. <laughs> Mum will like it. Um, hopefully they can. Yeah, if I get a get a chance to play here, Mum and Dad will definitely get them down here to come watch. And I don't know about all my whole family, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, <there's laughs> brothers. <laughs> definitely Mum and Dad. Uh, I like to get Nan and Granny down here too. That'd be pretty cool. They can always get it. Where are they living? Uh, they're living in Palmerston North, Mum and Dad. So they always go to Wellington and watch yeah. when you're playing there. And then in live in Tauranga, so we'll be right. able to find, yeah. a, find a super game yeah. to watch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. What about outside of rugby? What sort of things, um, mm. what sort of hobbies you got? No, I've got no hobbies really. I I want to get into like you know stuff like tennis and, and a bit of squash, a bit of golf. I'm actually used to set golf. We had a golf, um, a few of the boys play golf here, but I'm no good. Um, yeah, that's probably more my hobbies. But I, I'm trying to study as well. Mm. Um, what? Sport, a certificate in sport. Uh, I started it before ITM. And then as ITM went on, I kind of got a bit lazy. And, mm. But I finished the first semester off, just got to finish the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's something I'm actually, actually looking forward to, just getting... What about, getting, um, so you're here for two years? Oh, yeah, for three, three, three years, yeah. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. So you know you've got settled. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that's that, um, 
And back to Manawatu two in between? Yep, yeah, yeah, so I'm in for two more years, so I'll be back and forth a few years. And right. Yeah. All right, let's finish by you telling us something about yourself that your teammates might not know. Oh, that's a tricky one. See if there's um, anything you can think of. Well, actually, the teammates probably won't know, but um, I actually, me and my girlfriend actually have two cats at home. Um, one's Tiger, one's Pippi, and I don't normally bring it up much, so I just actually call it her cats, but actually one of them's my cat, so, <laughs> yeah. Can you bring them with you? No, we couldn't, no, they're not allowed pets in the house, so, oh, right. yeah. Well, that's a shame, <laughs> <seen>. Yeah. <laughs>